Siegfried is a very young, charming prince. He likes to hang out with his friends and hunt, even though he knows that he has the responsibility to become king one day. My mother, she told me to get married. I have to choose from all of these pretty princes, which I don't want. Right when he is very confused and he doesn't know what to do, he met O'Day. He just fell in love with her. Right away, O'Day really likes him. They promised to meet each other in the ball. Hrothbar, he finds these lonely princesses and he transforms them into these swans so that they can't escape. It's his way of controlling them. Odette is one of my many swans. She is the most pure, most beautiful of my collection. I know he's fallen for Odette. He's trying to take my most prized possession, if you will. At the end of Act 1, I take one of my black swans. Through my magic, I change her into Odette, or a look-alike. In the ball, he met Odile, and he realized that something is different. He's not sure what. You'll see me whispering a lot into her ear, reminding her and being like, oh, I remember this, they, they were doing this together, this is one of their experiences, why don't you try this with him? By the end of it, he's convinced that she is the one that he met in the forest. It's my first time performing Prince in Swan Lake and technically it's very challenging. The first act had two solo, including Adagio. For a guy doing adagio on stage, it's very hard because we don't normally do that kind of a solo. And the second act, including a part of car dancing with the four princes. After that, I have a grand part to do for around eight minutes jump and turn and lifting. It's one of the hardest ballet I've ever done. Stanton really likes to show the male side of the company. So you have that contrast of like swans, beautiful and so graceful, and then the guys doing this very explosive dancing as well. Everybody on stage is dancing at some point. You don't want to miss. Yeah, you have to come see.